Hey, 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 welcome back to the Passive Buddies podcast. And today we've got a cool, cool model. It's one that always, always interests me on how to make passive income. I am Brian Mills, your uh, host today, and we've got Brandon, who is the expert in this subject. Our co-host, Brandon, is literally going to walk us through how to add it, why to add it, and how to crush it with SaaS in your business model. Is that a good introduction for you? Yeah, I think that's a, a great introduction. It's uh, It's been a great time to uh, get back into the podcast. I've been on vacation in Hawaii, and it's been quite fun. I was there for the last 10 days. And luckily for me, I do have a SaaS company, which is a recurring income model. And for those that um, like recurring income where you can build freedom, the SaaS way is a great way to actually do that. So there are so many ways you can do SaaS, um, which SaaS stands for software as a service, where you're essentially adding a piece of software to your company that gets people to stay on your uh, product so that they continuously pay you each and every month or year, or whatever that is. And everyone has bills. So like your phone bill, your internet bill, um, your insurance, all that is a recurring model. And so being able to add SaaS into that, into your business kind of allows you to kind of accomplish that recurring uh, income model. Because like I said, all of our bills are recurring. So you might as well make a business that's also recurring income and you're not having to consistently uh, find new clients. I mean, you, I mean, all business is one to find new clients, but you don't have to kind of start over every single month. And so with adding SaaS or software as a service, you're able to actually do that. And so there are a million ways you can actually do this. You can add an affiliate program like we've talked about in previous uh, podcasts where you're essentially promoting someone else's uh, SaaS company or software and you're collecting a recurring income that way. Um, so like, for instance, we own super Facebook tools and people collect 30% recurring income from uh, promoting our software. There's a million different softwares out there that's different, that's that can go with your business. So if like, say for instance, you do a YouTube channel, um, we own, we don't own, but we use a product called TubeBuddy and we promote it on uh, blog posts and that sort of thing. And that's a yearly product and you can make recurring income from that. So if you want to do more of the yearly versus the monthly, then that is an option. There are so many different programs out there, so definitely uh, check them out. But if you wanted to say, for instance, do like actually own, say, a product, then you could white label a product. So that's when you essentially take someone else's product that they've created and put your own branding on it. So when I think of that, I think if you, you kind of don't understand, if you've ever been to like a grocery store and you look for the cheap vodka, it's usually um, a, the brand is the grocery store's name. So like in the United States, we have like Ralph's and Albertsons and um, I, the, the two that I can think of, uh, Kroger off the top of my head and, and the vodka section, there's usually like Kroger brand vodka or if you go to like the med um, medicine Part, there's like for alcohol swabs there's like Kroger alcohol swabs so that's where someone takes someone else's product and puts their own label on it so for us we have a reseller program or a white label option where people can take our super facebook tools which is a um, facebook crm or facebook lead generation tool and they are able to put their own branding color scheme on that product and then sell it as their own and collect 100% recurring income. Another example of this is uh, you're a big fan of ClickFunnels, Brian, and I'm a big fan of high level. And how I actually got started was um, white labeling high level. While you were promoting ClickFunnels, you were cl getting 30%. I was getting 100% of whatever price point I wanted for high level and I was able to put my own name on it and with ClickFunnels you're not able to do that. And so I was able to prom promote that piece of software as my own and sell it for whatever price point I wanted and clicked recurring income by doing that. And so people are able to white label our software and do the same exact thing. So that's kind of remodeled them by 
premium lead generation tool, while high level is more of a CRM for um, email marketing. And so you can add a high level to your agency business. You can add a high level, say for us, to our um, software company. So we actually give people high level as a, a way to kind of create the tools that they need so that they're able to automatically create the software for our, like automatically generate an account for their clients. So like we give them high level, it creates a web hook and then creates their account of super Facebook tools that they white label. And then it emails them to the customer. So they get like a two for one kind of package. Um, but there are a million of different ways you can, um, also add SaaS, you can get it developed like we did. So we hired a team. Our team now develops all of our software for us and is able to pretty much create software. So like for instance, right now we're creating a tool for um, blurring the backgrounds for webcams. So that's a customer advice. So he wanted a SaaS product and that's what we're creating for him. So there are so many different ways you can uh, get into SaaS and add it to your business. I just told you three or four different ways, um, but what are some ways that you, or any questions that you have about SaaS, Brian? So I think obviously one of the big things to identify and let people know, because obviously it's, it, sounded, it sounded a little bit more complicated as the conversation went on. But I just want to absolutely clarify 100%. You do not need a developer to start a SaaS company. Right. So the first two uh, examples I, I mentioned, uh, you do not need a, uh, a developer at all. The first one was promoting someone else's product as an affiliate, which would be like promoting YouTube, uh, TubeBuddy, promoting... Um, ClickFunnels, um, both of those are ways you can promote a product without having any kind of development background. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as another option would be white labeling. So I gave the example of white labeling our own software, which was super Facebook tools or uh, high, go high level or high level. And that's both don't require a developer. They do all the development um, in high level. We do all the development with super Facebook tools. And all you have to do is promote the product and collect 100% of the, the income versus in affiliate marketing, you're doing 30 to 40%, 30 to 50%. Both of those don't require a developer whatsoever. The third option was actually developing your own software. And um, again, you don't need to, you just need to hire a developer. Um, you don't need to be a developer yourself. Um, so that's a third option. That's why I wanted to give the first two options first because those are the easiest. And, and Brandon's absolutely right, guys. So from a point of view of like, uh, if you were going around, how how do I get SaaS into it? Because SaaS is a huge, huge business model and it is one of the most profitable. So ignore it and not including it into your business at the right time is probably at, at your peril. Um, so if you were brand new and going, well, how do I, how do I get software as a service into my model? Say, for instance, you're starting with, Little to no money, for instance. My advice would be start as an affiliate and then start getting those recurring commissions in, obviously because you're learning marketing, learning how to market these software products. Then once your affiliate commissions on the recurring, then cover a white label price. Use those commissions to pay for your white label price and then white label the software. Then all those softwares that you promote after that, or not all the softwares, but all the the, that particular software you've just white labeled, you promote after is hundred percent. So now your affiliate commissions are paying your white label price, and then your white label is building up your income. And then if you wanted to go absolutely crazy and you find a gap in the market, like Brandon did with Super Facebook Tools, because a lot of the Facebook CRMs are pretty crap compared to Brandon's. So Brandon spotted a, a slot in the market, and then went and used a developer so hired a developer with the money he was already making to build a, a crm tool for facebook and that way like if you're thinking i've got a great idea but i don't know how to fund it you've got that scenario sorted affiliate commissions white label build that pot buy buy the developer's time and build whatever sexy dream of software you have got going for you yep and just for clarification we did not build a uh, software for 
Facebook and like it's not associated with the company Facebook. <laughs> it is a uh, tool that is used on top of Facebook. Um, it has no connection or affiliate with the, the company of Facebook or of Meta. So basically what Brandon's just said is he that he has had a slap on the wrist legally from Facebook. <laughs> I have not, but <laughs> definitely um, sounded that way. <laughs> I, I wanted to uh, make sure that that was clarified just so uh, I did not get a slap on the wrist from Facebook. <laughs> Absolutely love it. So they they would be the that would be the journey I would take. Um, and to be fair, effectively, that is the journey I am taking. Um, I'm hoping to God ClickFunnels 2.0 has a white label option um, because I would yes. absolutely love that. I don't know whether it does, so don't quote me. Funnel oh. Happen Live is going on just as we record now um, or today. Yes. It starts today. Um, so I'm hoping there's a big announcement like that, but let's let's see what happens um, because that would be my journey. Affiliate, white label the thing, and then obviously I've got a couple of ideas for softwares, etc. cetera. Um, I've spoken to Brandon about a couple um, so basically that's that's the journey and adding that model inside your for instance high ticket affiliate coaching program like how you'd link this into so for the high ticket affiliate marketers who are who are listening how i would link this into that model specifically was obviously you've got your high ticket program nine times out of ten you offer bonuses don't you as part mm -hmm. to sign up through your link now, if you could get a white label software like Brandon's like CRM, Facebook CRM, and um, that goes on top, not in, <laughs> on top of Facebook, if you could get like a white label software like that, and you're teaching people how to get leads on Facebook for that affiliate marketing opportunity, you could white label Brandon's software, slide it straight into your bonuses. And then from, from there, you're combining your white label stuff because people then will start talking about that software, which then you can give affiliate links to and build your own army of affiliates. And then you've got it slid into your affiliate offer, your bonuses and all those things. So don't dismiss it just because you're a high ticket affiliate marketer or you're just promoting click funnels. Like for instance, you can slide it in, you can add it as a bonus and you can just keep going because obviously the more bonuses you have for your affiliate offers, the more likely someone's going to buy, the more sexy that irresistible offer is. So therefore by having that option, you can then increase your sales on your primary focus all while including SaaS as your business model. Yeah, that's a great way to do it. And there's it just having software allows for people to be more sticky because it's, if they're learning to use a piece of software, and they're getting results from it, they're not gonna wanna quit. And so if they're get, seeing the results just like anything, they're gonna continuously use that. It's gonna provide value every single month and they're able to continuously use your subscription or continuously get results and promote your program as an affiliate. So there's a million different ways, not only that, but with a subscription model, uh, companies are much more valued at a higher multiplier than uh, say just one-off programs because with a subscription, it's, it's consistent and you're able to sell it at a 24 to 36 X multiplier, which that means is just um, it's evaluated at a much higher rate. So if you decide to exit at some point, then you're able to sell that company to someone else and be able to make uh, a great deal of money. From it. Absolutely perfect. So final thoughts or was that um, the wrap? Yeah, I would say get uh, use, use software to strengthen your offer to get people to stick to your offer even more and which allows you to create a subscription model for your business so that you're able to actually um, make recurring income and build the freedom that you want in your business. 100% guys. So there you go. They have, that's how you strengthen your offers, how you build a SaaS company and how you make money with a SaaS, SaaS company in various different ways. If you've liked the video or like the podcast, please obviously drop us a review or a subscription or a like really helps the channel guys and helps us know what to create and what not to create. And we will see you on the next video. Peace.